I want to welcome you to FSS 201 class, an introduction to social science statistics. We've had two previous sessions in this course where we laid the foundation of the need for the knowledge of statistics in social science as a social scientist in the making. We define statistics as an aspect of, of mathematics that collect analyze and interpret data to make a decision. So as a behavioral scientist, your judgment of people's behavior in politics, in social and economic, we, we solidify when you have adequate knowledge of statistics. Today we'll be looking at an aspect of statistics called descriptive statistics. In descriptive statistics, we focus on the use of data to take decision without probability, without making inference. Descriptive statistics can be divided into two. We have the measure of central tendency and measure of dispersion. That is measure of spread of data. Today, in this session, rather, we'll be focusing on the measure of central tendency and to measure central tendency usually we make use of three statistical tools which are the mean the median and the mode the mean refers to the average number of uh, average value of a group of data the average value of a group of data why the median refers to the value within in the middle of a, a group of data. Why when the data is arranged either in ascending or descending order. Why when we talk about the mode, the mode refers to the to the uh, value that has the number the highest number of occurrence in a group of data. Now to calculate the mean, which is the in descriptive uh, statistics under the measure of central tendency. You look at, you sum the values given to you and divide it by the number. So in simple arithmetic terms, mean is derived, mean represented by the symbol X bar is derived by summing X all over and divided by n. The sum of x divided by n. For instance, if you are given a data of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and you ask to calculate the mean, and you ask to calculate the mean, let's say these are the scores of students in a test. In a, in a statistics test and you have to calculate the mean score what you do is to what you simply do is to sum these scores and divide it by the number of scores that you have gathered so you have mean which is x bar will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all over 5 so, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15. So you have x bar, which is mean, is equal to 15 all over 5. When you divide, the mean score for this class will be equal to 3. That is how the simple way of calculating the mean of non group data like this. So, as I did mention earlier, Ron, that the median is the number, the, the value at the middle of a group of data when arranged either in ascending or descending order. So, let's look at the median of this distribution. Median now using the same class, median, 
the number are the middle. The media of this data you, you discover if you, you have one, two, three, four, and five. They are already arranged in ascending order. So at the middle of this is three. The media here is three. It has a unique uh, a, a, a single media. So the answer here is three. But in the event where we have more than two, more than one number at the middle, it is expected of you to sum the two number and divide it by two. You get the average number of there and it will serve as the real media of the distribution. And finally, under the measurement of central tendency, we said we have the mode. The mode. The mode which refers to the to the value that has the number of the highest number of occurrence. The highest number of occurrence. Let's have let's say we have a data spread of one, three, four, eight, three, six, five, eight, two, one. Now, the one that occurred high most is what we refer to as mode. So let's arrange this data in ascending order. We have one, 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 one. We have two, two. We have three, three, three. three that's two, three. We have four, just one, four, then we have five, we have eight, eight, and eight. Eight, eight, and eight. We discover that in this distribution, it appeared three times, making it the highest number uh, value that, or with the, 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 the number with the highest number of occurrence. So, eight becomes our mode. Eight becomes our mode, and in this regard, we say we have we have a unimodal number, a unimodal number. Eight. The mode here is eight. It is uni because it is single. If the numbers the, 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 the variable with the highest number of occurring is more than one. Let's say two. We say we have a bimodal uh, distribution. If it is more than two, we say we, like if we have three va uh, var uh, variables that occur most, we say we have a trimodal. And if there are more than three, we say we have multimodal uh, uh, distribution. So. In our next class, we shall be looking at the measurement of dispersion. We are looking at how to get the mean deviation, the variance, the standard deviation, and the rest. Until I see you, keep yourself statistically updated.